So, just another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2024, uh, which is still an early access release at the time of this recording, uh, and uh, a fix that's been made to the key play status on load song feature. Um, I think that's probably have been added regardless of Virtual D-Day 2024 coming out, but it just happened to be part of that release, and I don't think a lot of people has noticed. have noticed, so I thought I'd just make a tiny little video about it. So if you don't know, key play status on load song, that's actually a feature where you can have the deck continue to play when you throw a song on top of it instead of pausing and waiting for you to do something with the track. So basically, if I enable that and I start playing a track over here, and I start playing another track over here, and I mix into that track, and I pick a third track and throw it over here, That'll start playing instantly, so I can mix into it. And of course, the same goes if I put it over here. It'll start playing instantly, and I can mix into it right away. So that's the feature, and that's been that like that for a long time. But that's actually a little bit of a bug, because what you saw was that it actually started from the beginning of the track, right? And that's okay, or oh, maybe skip silence, so that's the default, so that's okay. But you could also have another setting for starting the track, because you could have auto cue set to something. Now it's set to skip silence, that's a default, but a very popular one is Q or Q skip silence. So Q uh, meaning Q and Q uh, or skip silence if it doesn't have any cue points. So let's just pick Q for the simplicity here. So the idea is now that a track should always load at the first cue point, right? And uh, that actually didn't work before, it did work, but it didn't work if you use it in combination with auto play and load, like we saw the, the, the key play and load. So uh, it didn't work if you enabled that. Probably because the key play status on load actually triggered before this was checked. So it just started from the beginning of the track. But that has now been fixed. So that means if I go back now, so I have this set to Q and I have the uh, key uh, playing status. Then if I go back now and I start playing a track, mix into it the other track, mix into it, and throw a track on top of this one. Then it starts playing from the Q point, right? And the same thing on the other deck. Started from the first Q point. So that's basically the fix. Now I can of course continue here. So that's a little uh, trick here. Because I haven't mixed out of this song, It'll like to tell me, are you sure you want to do this? And I click OK, and it'll do it and start from the first cue point. Now, if you want it to start, uh, load the track and start, uh, even though it's audible because you haven't mixed out of it, you need to, uh, to do a little extra thing, which is basically the load security that you need to disable. So if I disable that one and I do the same thing, Basically, just setting this in the middle, playing tracks and throwing tracks on top of the uh, of the decks. Uh, it'll just continue playing these uh, new tracks, regardless if they're if the currently playing tracks are rec uh, audible at that time. So, like this. So it just loads them, even though the old one are already audible, and it plays them. like that. So that has always been there, but the new feature, of course, or the new fix is that this now works with auto, the auto queue setting, so it'll start from the first queue point if you want it to.